Jim, thank you. Lines wrapped around St. Lucie's Food Pantry this afternoon for the city of Syracuse's community gun buyback. Teaming up with the state attorney general's office, the effort is to get more guns off the streets and out of the wrong hands. News Channel 9's Adrian Smith stopped by to see what the turnout was like. One of the first in line at Syracuse's community gun buyback event, John DeStefano handed over his high point forty caliber carbine rifle. Being outside of uh, regulations for the SAFE Act, um, I had no use for it and didn't know how to get rid of it up to this point. DeStefano served as a United States Marine for six years. He bought his rifle when he retired in 2003, but says it's been collecting dust ever since. You know, it became useless to me, and quite frankly, guns in closets are, are guns that end up hurting people. So it's just time to just give it up. And that's the goal of the program to get one less weapon off the streets. For us, a gun is a gun, and any time a, a gun is in the hands of the wrong person, whether that be a felon or a person who has bad intentions, we want to do everything we can to prevent these weapons from getting uh, into people's hands. Syracuse Police is in charge of collecting all of the guns dropped off, and each one is logged in their system, but not once is anybody asked who they are, where they come from, or the story behind the gun. The key thing is that it really is an amnesty program, meaning you know, we don't take anybody's names or address. The goal is not to target individuals, but we're focusing on the guns. We're focusing on the illegal guns that can be used, you know, just get into the community and be used um, in nefarious ways. I couldn't stomach someone breaking into my house and taking my former gun and, and using it in a crime somewhere else. That would be too much for me to bear. Um, and then hopefully, uh, it catches on. Hopefully, the incentives actually, you know, encourage people to get guns that are forgotten uh, off the street. Knowing this isn't the solution, but it's one step closer to keeping the entire community safer. In Syracuse, Adrian Smith, News Channel 9. Those who turned in a gun got a $250 gift card, and some got iPads in exchange for a working handgun or assault rifle. And they ended up collecting 342 weapons.